Check out channelfireball.com to step up your game with videos and articles from the best in the world. You can use the code Gabby at checkout to help support this channel. Welcome. We are drafting some Legacy Cube. Hmm. Lots of really nice options here, yo. Fallen Shinobi, Gaunti, Anime Dead. Those are all just delightful. That's cool, Timo. That's very sweet. I feel like this is just wants us to go into UB, right? Should we just take Gaunti and then see if we can wheel any of these guys? We could also take Shinobi. And then we were we we, we could play mm, you know what? You know what? Let's do it. It's my birthday and I can play blue black shit birds if I want to. I don't I don't think that's the correct pack one pick one. It's just like what my heart it's what my heart wanted. <laughs> it is what the heart desired. Lily of the Veil or Scalding Tarn. That one's actually close because either of those is the right pick. Mm. Woodwalker's really good. Actually, I was super impressed. I didn't even see it. I was super impressed the other time I played with it. I ran out of my soda, my marble soda. That was a nice treat. It does have shadow. It's true. The heart wants what the heart wants. I'm going to take the, the Void Walker. It's super good with a Shinobi. It's also, I've just been impressed with this card. <laughs> I do not want to take Pack Rat. Um, could take Extinction Event, maybe. Could take Careful Consideration, or Pack Rat. Hmm. Hey, Dabu. Yeah, there's a Shinobi in this cube. But wait, it, good pack one into pack two. We went Fallen Shinobi into the Void Walker. Time to... The B Gay's Crime Stip Draft. We'll see. We'll see. I think I'll take Extinction Event just for... Just for kicks. Um, Solemn is pretty good. Blood Crypt's interesting. Mana Crypt is great. Or sorry, Mana Leak is great. And then Bitter Blossom is interesting because that's the kind of card that works with Fallen Shinobi, but we can get that on the... We can get that on the wheel, I think. So I think we just want Mana Leak here. It's a Mana Leak like you doing in a pack like this. That is how I feel too, Ark. Dress or a Force of Will? This is a Dak Faden, but... Oh, I did not realize Elrin's Epiphany is in this cube. I guess if somebody foretells a card, we can... We now know what it is. I'm kind of digging... the dress a little bit more than the force. It's just the tiebreaker of this being so cheap is like a pretty big game. Thank you, T-Dog. I appreciate that. We've had a lovely birthday stream so far. We got one trophy in the bag. Sophie and Dothy forces free. Force is free, it's true. I, I'm a little partial to the dress. I'm just going to take the dress. I think they're both excellent cards, obviously. Unless Starham is also... I don't think... Is there any other foretell card in this cube? I, I can't think of another one. Starham Unleashed is in the current cube list. I haven't seen it. I think I just want to take Revoker from here. I guess Ash Barons also plays. Fortress for possible last Yeah, that's the other option. I kind of like the Revoker. I, I like Revoker. Revoker's a good guy. So what is going on with the two things in the back of Revoker? I always thought those were the eyes, but like the more I look at this card, the more I feel like maybe that's not quite what's going on here. Because like the mouth is so far away, right? Maybe it just doesn't have eyes. You skyclave there because we're secretly white black. Oh my god, no, I don't want to do that. But but antenna, <laughs> yeah, look at that. What's the new set coming out? Uh, Midnight Hunt. It's Midnight Hunt into the wedding set. Crimson Midnight Hunt into Crimson Bow, I think. Read the bones or nothing else. Corral's messenger. Eh. 
late September sometime. Not sure the exact date. It's coming out soonish. Want to be with Light You? Yeah, I mean, we we are more. I think I'd rather take Read the Bones though. Between those those options, I don't think we want Garolf's Messenger. The card sucks. Wow, nothing here. I mean, we could take Blade Splicer in case we do end up in white black. The other option is taking City of Brass, and I do not like that card. <sighs> I'm gonna take Blade Splicer. And not to be happy about it. I want to be blue black shitbirds. I don't want to be white black. Also shitbirds. Here we can take a frost titan and be like pretty okay with it though. Big kids. Nah, I think we'd rather have a frost titan there. Godless shrine or everything else is garbaggio. Oh my god, Ark wants me to be Ark wants me to be white black so bad. Careful consideration or glass pool mimic. Glass pool mimic copying this thing is actually not that bad. <laughs> um Mimic is cool with Shinobi. It's cool with the, the Void Walker as well. So this is like Murmuring Mystic or Porcelain Legionnaire. These are both look kind of bad. I'll take Legionnaire, I guess. Oh my god. Why? <laughs> Alright, let's hope we open something good in blue because we are kind of looking like white-black right now. We could be white-black Splash Shinobi. I know, I know, I don't like it. I don't like it, Lazy. I want to be blue black shitbirds. Why do I keep getting pushed into white black shitbirds? Court of Calls, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> I think we're going to be white black. Oh. Oh, baby. Um, options. Inquisition of Kozilek. I don't even think Consecrated Sphinx is that good. I don't think I wouldn't, I would not prioritize that here. Um, I think it's just Inquisition. You, you're not reading the draft wrong, Ark. I agree. I just don't. Not what my, it's not what the heart desires, you know. You know the feeling. All right. Well, this pack is going to determine whether we end up in white or not. So, let's just see what cards keep getting passed. As long as it's a black card, we can keep taking it. But we have to make a decision soon. It's true, Memphis. But I do have a birthday dinner that I'm going to in an hour ish. A little more than an hour. So if I drop and draft, that means we're going to have less time to play. I know! I just want the blue like shitbirds. Wow, lots of really good um, green cards in this pack. Kind of feel like this is Gideon Jura or Selfless. There's also Compulsive Research if we just wanted to go that direction. Continue to try to force blue. I am partial to forcing blue here. Compulsive is quite good. Mine sounds also good too, yeah. <laughs> Gatekeeper of Malakir makes me kind of laugh. I think it's probably just Doomblade here. Why is Gatekeeper of Malakir in the cube? That's a great question, Ark. I played against it the other day, though. It, it, this card brings me back. I learned how to play magic with this card. I always thought the kicker was you destroyed a creature, and then BK always had to go like, no, Gabby, like, read the card. It's I sacrifice something. I'm going to take Doomblade. Um, the vanishing verse. What is this lawless spider queen? Thank you, DC. I appreciate that. This looks good. 
That card seems okay. And then I can just get rid of all this stuff. Maybe keep the godless. And then and now and now we can definitely just stay stay on target, continue being blue black. Or Reggie. The problem with Reggie is that we don't have anything that really works with Reggie very well. The Night of Scavenger is a good card though. That is a good one. <laughs> Kite Cell Freebooter is pretty good. Don't think we're going to be spectral possessing anybody today. <laughs> Ark. Ark is trying to call me out. It's pretty rude. On my birthday of all days. Uh, I don't think we're playing this godless, by the way. Okay. This looks okay. The glass pool mimic needs to go over here. Yeah, this deck looks okay. This deck needs some stuff. Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm glad I took uh, the dress over the force of will and given how this is going right now. Ooh, what does Dak and Shadow Slayer do? Does that do anything interesting? It is three mana exile target creature and surveil plus two. Plus you may reanimate something, but it's unclear if it's unclear how likely we are to be reanimating Dakins. Um we do have a godless shrine in the yard. I don't think we're likely to play Chromatic Lantern, so if the choice is between that, I think I'd rather play Agadim's Awakening or Dakin. I think I'm going to take the Dakin, but just put it in the sideboard and see if we get there on the Dakin. Um, oh boy. These all suck. We can take Thalia. Hmm. Pester is kind of a shitter. Is it your B-Day or Magic's? Uh, it is my birthday. I like Duplicant here. Well, Opposition is very good. It just Opposition sucks for our deck, I guess is what I'm trying to say. We can take Mindstone. Looks better than all the other stuff. Yeah, maybe we should have taken Pester Mite. Mishra's Factory or Kaldra Complete. I, we're not super likely to play any of these. I guess that called the, the Cauldra Complete might do something. We can take this to sideboard. Parallax Wave. We have white so open. We just like... We were not open to white. <laughs> Oof. Ba, 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 da, da. Let's see. Factor Fiction looks really nice. Him to Torek looks really nice. Those are the two. I mean, Coalition Relic is cool, but it, I don't think it's as good as like Fall for him in our deck. Yeah, you thought that the technology had advanced past that, Archie, but it hasn't. It hasn't. I think I like him to Torek a little bit better. Just because we don't have an effect like him to Torek yet. And we do have a Read the Bones. Which I know is like worse than Factor Fiction. But given that this deck is very black. Um, I think him looks pretty nice. Like a pretty nice pickup. Rankle looks interesting. I love Shark Typhoon. Murderous Rider is also good. We don't really care at all about the Sarah. That's like whatever. Yeah, ice cream lesbian. We we kind of forced. I really wanted. I really wanted to draft blue black shit birds. That's all I wanted. Shark typhoon is really nice because even if you make a small typhoon and then you do fallen shinobi, like it, it, this, this is a creature that has a good amount of evasion. The nice thing about murderous rider is that it is a removal spell, but we have a doom blade and a bunch of discard. So I think I'm gonna take Shark Typhoon. Maybe see if we wheel one of the other cards. Ooh, these are some nice options. Wow, look at that kiki jiki, old border too. It looks awesome. 
The nice thing about murder spiders is that our deck is going to have black sources in it. Yeah, no kidding. There's also a fabled passage, by the way, and maybe that's what we need to take. Because we are on booster three and our mana sucks. Oh, man. But we have to pass on Glenelundra for that. Picking up Glenelundra with Fallen Shinobi be so nice. I think we have to take fabled passage. <sighs> Hear me out, paladin class. That is some next level, next level nonsense. Obliterator. Should we run the thing that our opponent from the last draft was doing? Three mountains obliterator. I'm going to take Fabled Passage and feel really bad about passing Glenelundra. So I think Kalita's blows, so we don't have to worry about that. Spellseeker gets... Spellseeker is nice to pick up with Shinobi, and it gets Dress, Inquisition... Mana Leak, Doomblade, him to Torak. Yeah, Spellseeker looks good. I think Supreme Will looks good here. Yeah, Electrolyze is in the cube. Electrolyze is one of those cards that's always like borderline in cubes, Ark. Like, it, it, I feel like it's always one of the last cards. The problem is, is it gets so many good cards. And whenever there's new sets, like, they, they, they like to try the Prismari commands in the queue and such. I think I'd rather take that. Yeah, I was sad to cut it. Mm, I agree. So Urza, Lord High Artificer, but the mana of that is a little sketchy. Or Fall from Favor... Which I hate the, the, whatever the name of the mechanic is, but it's really fantastic. Yeah, I like Prismari Command. That card's fun. That, that's been a fun addition to the cube. It's true, Ark. All right, let's uh, take Fall from Favor and hate myself for it. Ooh, I do like Snappy. Snappy works pretty well in this deck. We've got Snap Leak, Snap Doom, Snap Dress, Snap Inquisition. Um, Even Snap Him. Yeah, even Snap Him would actually work. Collective Brutality is really nice too. This does look like a really good Snapcaster deck though. So we need... It's terrible, Ark. I, I think Monarch should just be banned in 1v1. I think that would be a way that, that, that people could feel okay about that mechanic. Otherwise, it just sucks. We're not playing any of these. Take Basalt Monolith. Could take this for the sideboard and not play it. <laughs> All right. For my Frexian Obliterator lovers in chat, we're going to give that card a forever home. Engineered Explosives to the side. Thank you, Adams. Adams words, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. This is a good creature to attack with um, First Fallen Shinobi. I think we can start with no extinction event in, this, in the main deck for now. Move the two lands to the sideboard for now. This is 23. Yes, I know, Ark. If only we could play against the rest of the pod. Archangel Avison. Archangel Avison almost juked us in the last draft. How does this look? This would be the 23. Plus a... Yo, Mark Chalice, thank you so much for the seven. Happy I appreciate that. Welcome back. Plus a Fabled Passage and a Glass Pool Mimic. Oh, Monarch and Commander, I could believe... I've never played it, but I could believe works really well. In 1v1, it just turns into like, I'm just going to wrath your board and you can never attack me with your creatures and then I'm just going to slowly win because I'm drawing one card and you're not. Drawing one card over you every turn until you die. And I think that's fine, right? There, there can be mechanics that work for multiplayer games that don't work for single player games. I don't think there's a problem with that. But they, that, like, it should just be, that should be decided ahead of time, right? Fabled Passage, Glass Pool Mimic. And add. Why is it trying to give me a basic planes? Oh, the. <laughs> what is this? 
phone number from a number I do not recognize. Cool, cool. There's a glass blue mimic in there, right? It's going to be 8 8. Yeah, this looks good. New snip. Da -da 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 -da. All right. Well, we really should have been, honestly, white black or Esper, but we are blue black shitbirds. So, LFG. Narvly! Narvly, thank you so much for the 48 months! Birthday, Holy birthday, crap. Happy birthday, Our remote scientist feels makes an appearance. Birthday, man. Gabby party, Gabby party. You played Papercube yesterday and opponent Palace Jailer, your Pestermite, I untap and mortars their board and attacked with my Imperial Recruiter. He was sad. <laughs> That's gas. Also, Tom Richards, I like the verbs. The verbs in your sentence. Palace Jailered my Pestermite is like, people understand what, like, that's, that's a verb. Like, that makes sense. And then you mortars the board also is just like, yep, I, I, I know what you mean there. <laughs> Mana League, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. As somebody who also likes to turn things into verbs when they're not, I, um, I appreciate it. Mana League, how was your stream? Thank you so much for the raid. Did you do anything fun? Yes, the sentence would sound like nonsense to an outsider. What was I doing the other day? I was listening to people talk about something, and I was like, this is what it must feel like for people to listen to, like, magic players talk about magic. Forget what it was, but it was just, like, incomprehensible. Gotta get fired, you know? Yeah, I do. Yeah, <laughs> if you understood the sentence, you'd be speak fluent MTG. I feel like that's, like, the kind of paragraph you'd face in, like, it's the final boss. Like, you'd face it in an exam. That's cool, Viper. I did not know that. Is there an Aura deck in EDH? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure there's lots of Aura decks in EDH. I'm sure they're, like, Selesnya is pretty popular for that because Enchantress is that. Those colors, typically. Um... I'm sure there's a lot of like white decks because there's there's a bunch of five to six mana um, white cards that have like great payoffs for enchantments like fuck. oh we should lead on swamps you are correct we do have him to Torak in this deck and Voidwalker you are correct I always like to lead on island because I feel like it's more intimidating <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense it does make sense right you can intimidate people more with an island than you can with a swamp. <laughs> okay, so they don't know about this Doomblade. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, let's just go swamp into Freebooter, I think. Eternal Witness, Cultivate, and a Grist. So we're going to take that Cultivate, I guess. They are missing a bunch of stuff, actually. So they are on the chapter where they have to make a thingy. So they'll make a thingy and then we get to Compulsive. Well, we might just read the bones, actually. We can compulsive probably. Compulsive seems fine. Discard a land. We can discard a swamp. Plan island. So then they're gonna make a one one. I accept. Now they gotta make another one, and that's gonna be their whole turn, right? Or they can let it go. I guess we'll see if they have anything to fetch. Now they're making it. So they have two two twos. Cool, cool, cool. That, that's the awkward thing about um, casting Urza Saga so early. Because they, they, they cast that pretty early. Thank you, Staple Madness. I appreciate that. Oh, boy. The Gilded Goose plus food makes the construct a 3-3. Okay. We're getting close to the duplicant. Hmm. 
Hmm. So we could read the bones and then Doomblade or Revoker the Goose. So I think we start out by tapping like this. Oh, we would rather name Grist, wouldn't we? These all look good. We can top top both. Thank you, maid. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate that. Grist. Oh no. It's Grist the Hunger Tide, right? I believe that's right. Yeah, that's what it's called. No point in attacking. So we know they have Ewood, Grist, Forest, and I think maybe like two more forests after that. They have the Cult of it as well, I guess. So their hand looks something like this. Okay, now that Ewood is gone... They can get back Ursa Saga. Ewa and Ursa Saga is a good combo. Oh, they go back Thoughtseize. Okay. Oh, Cultivate is exiled to the booty. You're right. Let me get that out of there. So they have Forest Grist, basically, that we know of. Interesting. They took my TSG. Yeah, that's a reasonable thing to take. Kind of like taking... If I were them, I would have liked getting Ursa Saga. Having so many constructs that are huge is like a pretty big game. If I duplicate one of these constructs, will it be a 2-2? Two -two? Well, will it be a 3-3? Three -three? I mean, double top means Thoughtseize is probably pretty good. Yeah, that's true. That, 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 is, that is a good point. Oh, Duplicate Can't is non-token only. Oh, crap. So, I guess we're on Shark Typhoon's cycle plan. And my, shark, my shark's gonna be a 4-4. Four -four. That's true, Ark. I I think I would have gone for the Urza Saga play, I think, in the dark. That Gilded Goose can make some food, which is pretty obnoxious. Oh, they're Jund. They're just straight up Junds. I did not expect them to suddenly, suddenly jund. Okay. Oh, weird. Um, I still think we do this. Ooh. Won't you look at that. We also got a Frost Titan, so we technically could tap the Goose and kill the Gris, such that if the Revoker dies, we're not in trouble. Because Grist is scary, but it's only scary if the Revoker is not in play. And then Frost Titan can block, like, the, the constructs for days. Yeah, I like it, Molly. I think I'm going to Frosty tap the Goose and try to keep it tapped for a bit. Because it is going to be growing those, con those constructs.
Okay, so then shark can go there. This can go with them. Got him. Okay, so, so constructs are pretty big, but even with uh, another artifact, Frost Titan can still block. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, no, Ark, they, wouldn't they be in a better spot if they just had two more constructs? I wouldn't have attacks. I would just, I could never attack, right? Um, I really want to, I can't duplicate the constructs, damn. Yeah, we can Shinobi off the Freebooter. I'm not even sure if I'm attacking with my Frost Titan. I really do want to keep the Gilded Goose tapped. But... I guess they might double block Constructs and then I can just Doomblade to kill something. I could also attack with Frost Titan and tap one of the Constructs. And... Um, And then if they try to block with like Ewit plus Construct, that can blow them out. I should have probably sent with Shark too. Oh, they're just jumping? Yeah, that's cool. Works for me. One, two, three, four. I want to make sure that I can leave up Nighthawk Scavenger in case I brick off of the Shinobi. All right, come on, hit something good. Abrupt decay. <gasps> ah! That's so sick. Yeah, they're off it. <laughs> Those were good hits. We got some good hits. Um, okay. Extinction event. Did it look like we wanted extinction event against them? Not especially, right? Yeah, how big was this Night Nighthawk Scavenger Viper? I did not actually see, but I think it was quite large. It was embiggened. Tick three. I think the biggest one I've seen is seven three. I don't think we have much that we want to board in. We can just do this. Boo -doo -boo -boo -doo -doo. Yeah, this looks okay. We need to draw a little action for the snappy. I'm glad they didn't have thoughtsies. That would have been bad for us. Okay, we're going to lead on Swamp. My god. <laughs> you know I want to, Ark. Somewhere out there, Molly's just like, oh, wow, that's a really aggressive... Um, that's a really aggressive versus Saga. Oh. We bend an eternal witness in a Woodfall Primus. Oh my god. For the love of god, don't have, like, reanimation. Hmm. I, I honestly just want to go... Nighthawk scavenger into snappy him next turn. I think I will. Happy birthday. Yeah, I love it too. If they have um the the bird, the goose, that's kind of annoying. Yo, Bazir, thank you so much for the two months. I appreciate that. Welcome back, friend. All right, so they they make a thingy, but they do lose their land. <gasps> BK! BK, thank you for the gift. It's sub so sweet. I appreciate that. Welcome on an Android Thomas, Firefly, Rastaku, and One Shot. Back to the brood. So sweet, BK. 
Looking forward to getting some nice dinner. They have four cards still. We still just do this. I'm glad we got the Ewood because now they can't get the Urza Saga back. Taste it. Thank you, BK. Appreciate that. Look at this, BK. Do you appreciate what I'm doing to my opponent? This is my second hymn to Torek. Oh, we hit a Grist and a Natural Order. So we've been hitting some, some good stuffs. Plus our Nighthawk Scavengers is 6-3. So we're kind of just like going pedal to the middle. Okay, we have enough time to play one more match before I have to go to Diener. Natural order for Grist. Because Grist is a creature, right? How's what's the text? How does the text work? I did say tasted it, I think, both times I played it, BK. And I can't oh one hundred percent guarantee that I did, but I think I did. Just given the circumstance and all. I think we'll probably lead on. Oh, awkward. Classic glass boom and make Dothy Voidwalker hand. Keep though. I think we still want to go glass pool mimic into swamp so that that way we have like mana leak up. <laughs> it counts as an insect anywhere other than the battlefield. Funny. They bend island mountain and a faith of saluting cool. This one doesn't have an option to be played on top, right? No. Uh, which side? Glass pool, sure. Alright, we tried to get fixing, but all we got was a fabled passage. I, I tried. Thank you so much, Quintastic. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm gonna hang out with my friends here in Denver. I'm gonna have some nice dinner. And... Let me play Black Source. Yeah, I'm not playing anything else. I guess I just have a mana leak in case I want to do some some business and stuffs. I uh I didn't plan anything like too elaborate. It's I don't know. I'm 33 weeks pregnant. It's hard to have the energy to do literally anything. <laughs> nothing. Really nothing. Maybe we should have played Snapcaster Mages and Ambush Viper there. Kind of want to jam spell seeker here. Have I seen any new spoilers from Innistrad? My understanding is that cards got leaked from Innistrad. Uh, him to Torak looks kind of good if we could cast it. Oh yeah, I, I am off for the post-dinner laser tag, BK. <laughs> Count me out. I think I'll take the dress since the him is it's unlikely for us to be able to him with his hand. Oh boy, am I dying to... Oh, okay. I thought it was a pester mite or something. They made a treasure and they looted. Oh, they had a daze and they chose not to daze my spell seeker. Okay, cool. Yeah, I thought it was dead arc. So this is just like... This was great news. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's Look at the top three cards of target player's library, then put them back in any order. You may have the player shuffle, draw a card at the beginning of your next turn's upkeep. It's like a weird ponder. Mm -hmm. I would have liked to draw a black source, because then we would have been able to go dress, snap, dress. Since we can't do that, we're going to dress because we kind of need to see what's going on. And then we might, like, I don't know, mana leak something. Mana leak's looking bad against Thrain Dynamo. Oh, look, it, it's just Factor Fiction and Polluted Delta, so we, we actually made out, like, bandits. Should I flaw my creature? No cap. It... They don't seem to have a way to... 
Yeah, love it, Molly. Love it. That's a real, the real fucking mood. All right, let's fall from favor, the spell seeker. I'm into it. Look at me. I've got the birthday crown. Faith is looting flashback your garbage. Cool, cool, cool. We also have a snappy flashing back dress next turn, depending, I guess, on what they do right now. <gasps> Holy crap! I can't believe it. Wow. Annihilated. Destroyed. Yo, one shot. I found out today that my editors haven't been uploading stuff on YouTube, so there should be some stuff coming on to YouTube in the near future. Wow, I got annihilated. Awful. Awful. So they still have monkey. I have no way of actually like dealing them damage, do I? They are the monarch. Um... Yeah, I mean, we can set it up so that we play the Nighthawk Scavenger and just have Mana Leak up. And we could also Snappy just to make sure make sure to, to a bit like haste. Yeah. We do have Doomblade in the yard too, which we could go like Snap, Doomblade, uh, Ragavan if it comes to that. The only problem is that doesn't work if we play Nighthawk Scavenger. Mana League Ambush Viper. <laughs> I wish we had one more Black Source. Our, our mana's been, I mean, it's what you expect out of a 9-9 mana based fudge. I'm going to play Nighthawk Scavenger. And I have a Snappy or a Mana Leak on the ready. Most likely Ambush Viper. Arcane Artisan. Can't do anything about that. But Nighthawk Scavenger doesn't care about that. I get back the Monarch. Sure. Are they just... Um, so I'm going to get back the, um, the Monarch. I don't really have to play the Snapcaster Mage. I, I could go just like next turn, Snap, Doomblade at the Arcane Artisan. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm playing it, Molly. I wish I would have had enough to like maybe Mana Leak the Monkey, but I didn't. Oh, Hello. That is a really wonderful, wonderful card. Mm. Okay, got the monarch back. Uh, I don't really have to make a move here, I don't think. Because I can do all the stuff I can do at instant speed. And there's a chance I want to do it to that. So I can just play that and pass. And then draw me a card. Really would like to draw more swamp. Okay. That card's not bad. Not bad at all. Helps me get the monarch back as well if I lose it. Um, so I think I'm going to go like Snap, Doomblade, and then I'm going to try to trade Snapcaster with Raghavan and Doomblade that. And if that fails, I can Doomblade this. Because we don't have to make a decision yet. Yeah, exactly, Molly. Like, that's that's my that's my plan. But there's a chance they have some jukes planned with something like 
Yeah, something like that. What did they exile? Shardy C. Okay, yeah, so let's let that resolve. And now I think it's time to go... Emergency Shark. Okay, we're still the monarch. Good, good, good. Their arcane artisan can't actually take the monarch from me. They need they need more action before they can do that. Yeah, we also have the revoker for this. So we since we can't doomblade it anymore. Guess we'll see. I am worried about the amount of mana they have. We haven't. Oh, damn it. I'm still the monarch. Now we're going to have to revoke her the lily, probably. They have one card in hand. Um, Voidwalker, revoke her the manor rock. And then leave up leak. That that could work. And then we can use the void walker to kill the lily, huh? Yeah. No, I like it, Molly. I think that's a good play. Let's see. Let's revoke her first and see if it works. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> Baklava reaches. <laughs> so now that they didn't the now that that didn't work, we could um we could choose something else instead of dynamo. Yeah, Reed, welcome. Take away three mana. It's still probably pretty good to do the Thran Dynamo. You're probably right about that. Thran Dynamo. And then we can void walker, leave up leak. And they don't have any way of attacking me. I still have the monarch. I would like to draw a swamp, maybe. That wouldn't be too shabby. What am I bidding to this lily? The kite self rebooter, maybe? Yeah, what drinks did you get, Rage? Let me live vicariously through you. Ooh, that's pretty good. Baklava reaches. Oh, here it comes. Mm. Okay. The duplicate just clowns out, so I'm not worried. It's a token. No, you would just kill the artisan. I think I'm booting. The, I'm throwing the booty, booty away. I don't really see that thing being useful. Yeah, it's these these cards are real, but they're not real in the sense that. Um, I don't. We're not gonna get the the seven seven. We're gonna get an O three. Because we're killing the artisan. Anything to switch? I know. <laughs> In this case, we didn't even get the O3. It's like a real reminder. <laughs> Molly, Molly's thinking about some like existential questions. Too existential, if you ask me. Uh, engineered explosives is an answer to... Um, to artisan if they try to get an Iona in play. Oh, 
it doesn't do I even want that that sounds this sounds so bad what would we take out to make room for an engineered explosives I don't think we want engineered explosives sounds good Yeah, it, it seems bad. There is, we could have brought the, um, the Orzov cart, the Orzov land, I forget what it's called. The Godless Shrine. Ooh. I do. Th yeah, I, I do want to do this. I was thinking about playing the Fabled Passage right now, but I think we can get away with it since we have that Mind Stone. Oh! Alright, sure. Don't know why that helps. Like, I don't know why they need to do... I guess they're just doing that anyway. Prismari Command and Animate Dead. Oh, they also have Champion of Wits. Watch out. That's kind of spooky. I th think... I think we take the Animate Dead. That has the highest chance of being the card that ruins us. The other cards are just a bunch of looting. Their deck is very soft to Voidwalker. You love to see that. So they're going to go Mountain Pass, probably. Yep. Ooh. Could we name anything? Nope. We cannot. I'm playing Mindstone makes sense here. Oh. This Stray Target Artifact is kind of annoying. I guess they... Maybe I shouldn't have played the Mind Stone because of the Prismari command. Yeah, I forgot about the last mode on the dark. I actually just spaced. That means we would have wanted to play the Fabled Passage to try to hit a Nighthawk Scavenger. Oh, okay. Well, now we're going to be able to mana leak the Prismari command, which is not nothing. So uh, they have Champion of Wits and they played an island. So they have Mountain Prismari command in hand. Yeah, this worked out. This was not the intended. They binned a mountain. So now we only know about the Prismari command. Um, so now I could just play Revoke, Revoke something, they have Prismari Command, and then if they try to go Prismari Command to kill my stuff, I can just Mana Leak it. What do we want to name on Revoker? We could Revoke this. Should hit the Eternalize card in the yard, right? Exile this card from your graveyard, create a token that's a copy. Oh, that's not cast. Activated abilities of sources with a chosen name can't. Oh, no, we can. We could name Liliana. That is a good name, actually. That's better than what I was thinking. So, yeah, we can go Swamp and then tap like this. And then revoke Liliana the Veil. And then hold up Mana Leak. Liliana... Of the veil. Okay. And the next turn, we might be able to pick up the revoker and hit them with Shinobers. Maybe we hit an Iona. That would be just delightful. Don't care if they hit me. Not at all. Shardy C. Um... They're going to have one island left after this. And then they can just revoke her to pick up and hit them with Shinobi. I th think we want to mana leak this. This might be wrong, but we'll see. Okay.
What did they do with that ponder? Uh, they shuffled. Okay. So let's go revoke. Pick up. Sounds good, Memphis. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you spending some time with me on my birthday. It's been a lovely birthday stream. Hit him! Sahili. Into swamp. Oh, and we actually took a swamp, which is their fixing, by the way. Thank you, Learns. Oh, oh boy. All right. I guess I should have played the swamp first. Damn. I don't know if I even care about that, to be honest. Like, if they send themselves back a turn, they need an answer to Shinobi, like, now, right? <laughs> they have to chump with Champion of Wits here. I could try to draw a uh, removal spell for Champion of Wits. Like a Doom Blade, so that I can get in. They do have Command in hand. Two damage to any target. Oh, they're going to chump plus Prismari command. I see. That makes me not want to attack. Mm, yeah, we could lead on Read the Bones. And then leave up activation for Cracking Mindstone just in case they do try to... Yeah, because I still have Swamp there. So let me lead on Raid the Bones. Spellseeker. Spellseeker does find me a bunch of answers. I can bottom Swamp, top Spellseeker. My Mind Stone's probably going to die to Prismari Command, which is fine. And we can get like, um, like a Doom Blade or an Inquisition or something like that. Yeah. Bottom, top... Yeah, I like it, Molly. We're, they, they're going to be able to blow up my Mind Stone, and that's like basically all they're going to get to do. Ooh. Oh, man. Him to Torek looks so tasty. Uh, that's kind of what I want. I really want to. You're the one that I want. You are the one I want. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. And they got to use their Primari. primari they got to get a move on, or they're going to be in trouble. So they got to blow up Mind Stone plus Loot, probably. They know I have a him coming, too. Yup. Yup. They did not blow up my Mind Stone. Interesting. I don't think they do ARG based on what they chose. They went treasure to set themselves back where they started because of that daze. Oh, snap. Big, big, bad Nickel Bull as Planeswalker. Did not realize that card was in the cube even. Oh, that's just not even that good against him. Our opponent's the hero. They're certainly trying. So I think this Revoker is going to have to name Champion of Wits, by the way. Uh, oh, shoot. That's an Iona in the yard, by the way. Have three cards left. They can't play a land, otherwise we snipe them. We could also name Arcane Artisan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um... I mean, we could just attack with both and then see where we're at. It's very likely that I want to play the Hymn to Torek here, but we could just see what we draw off of the Fallen Shinobi because that might change what we want to do this turn, right? 
Amy, thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, Amy. I hope you had an awesome stream. Welcome on in, Raiders. We're playing some Legacy Cube for my birthday. Hurricane just knocked out your internet. Happy birthday. Thank you. I appreciate Amy's internet went down, so we were here. Welcome on in, friends. You came in right on time to watch us him to Torak our opponent. What did we get? We got a collective brutality and a badlands. Um we are gonna wanna name uh Champion of Wits with his Frexian Revokerism, I guess. Champion of Wits. I'm not worried about their last card, I don't think. I I think they're pretty dead here. We'll see. We'll see. It's also my birthday today. <laughs> Turning 34 today. Yeah, this scavenger has been huge every time. It's a 7-3 now. Yeah, see, I, I did not think there was anything they could have there. Um, All right. I do have to head out, unfortunately, because... I don't have enough time to play the last match. So if you're watching this on YouTube, we're gonna come fast forwarding to the next match. Oh yeah, I saw a bunch of my friends did an early screening of that DC and they see they all seem to like the movie. So I hope you enjoy it as well. I don't know, I, I didn't go. So I can't tell you anything about it. No spo spoilers or no spoilers, I can't tell you anything about it, but they liked it. I liked it quite a bit. You're very jealous of Caroline and the gang. Yeah, I I have not enjoyed going to the movie theater. Part it partly it's just that I'm pregnant. Um But you know like when you go to the movie theater and like you hear the people coughing in the background? Like I did not like that experience. <laughs> Cause I went to see um A Quiet Place 2. And that just it just like it honestly made me anxious. Uh, I think we can keep this. It's a little slow. When I started this, hey, call me legend. Ryan, thank you so much for the 24. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think I think if I weren't pregnant, I wouldn't care at all. But like, it definitely didn't help. It also didn't help that A Quiet Place is like one of those movies that's like very quiet. So it was like, just like mono quiet and people going like, <laughs> So, it was a coughing place, really. We have a lot of cheap stuff we could draw. I would like to draw something cheap since it does look like we're playing against Black Aggro. Oh my god. We're playing against a very, very aggressive Black deck. Oh, I'm sorry, Fake Queen. That's a bummer. I think we might run out Ambush Pipe. It's bad to run it out as Ambush Viper since we have a Spell Seeker. Yes, we are the extremely clunky blue deck. Someone was really offended when we called their deck clunky last time we played Molly. Do you remember that on Wednesday? They 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 were offended. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't, I don't make the rules. Truth hurts. All right, I would like to use this. Um, I think we want to go like. Dress. We could also go Inquisition. The problem with Inquisition is that they didn't play anything on three. The, the Doom Blade is awful. We got to board it out. Because uh, I really want to go like Dress, Snap, Dress. You know? So, hey, Dabu. Welcome. Oh, we can't Dress, Snap, Dress. I guess we can do it at Sorcery Speed. It's not going to be a surprise. But that's fine, I suppose. How's it going, Dabu? Gatekeeper of Malakir and enough to kick it and reverse it. All right, good beats. Damn. Hmm. My eight. 
think we gotta make this play. Ellinger, thank you so much for the 59. Hi. The next badge upgrade. Ooh, I wrote Daddy that wrong. Daddy. Thank you very much. Oh, Whip of Erebos and Massacre Worm and Murderous Rider. That is unfortunate. Wow. We're just dead. Because we can play Snapcaster Mage. Then they murder us right me, and then I die. Technically, oh, I, I guess technically I go to one. Can we get Phil's birthday, man? Whose birthday is it? Doing fine things. It's my birthday today. Oh my gosh, thanks for pointing that out, Molly. I almost missed it. Phil's birthday, man. There you go. Can we get some Phil's birthday, man, in the chat? We are dead, by the way. I don't think we can make a comeback here, sadly. Um, they're very fast and aggressive, so we definitely want to take out Doomblade. Um, <laughs> feels birthday, man. It is, it's a good command. It's a good command. Extinction event. Extinction event might be okay here. Um, how's Doggers? Doggers is great. Thanks for asking, Mori. Feels birthday, man. Yeah, I think I like Extinction Event too. I don't like anything else. I'm definitely not bringing Revoker in. Let's just go like this. If if Spectral Possession had an Orzhov cost, I would bring that in. This looks good. We'll get blue on turn four. I think that's fine. Because we want to go like Swamp Swamp him. Into Swamp Compulsive. Nope. Nope. Calmate. Have you guys have you guys been watching the the gauntlet? I am so bored of this standard. It is bad and it should feel bad. Ooh, pretty good, but I think I want to just do this. We hit a gaunty and a wretched confluence. So unfortunately, we didn't hit any other twos. I don't think. Oh. Okay. Well, that made our play easy. Manali can fall in Shinobi. Nope and nope. Okay. I know, Fake Queen, what, what, what in the world? I was not expecting that. So we having. Tough two days going from losing money to playing Lone Dreads and having to play a multi-round standard tournament. Yep, no kidding, Cup. For reals. Um, are they making me discard? I guess I'm discarding a swamp. They have an ancient tomb. Oh, they just made us draw. That's cool. Um... Wow, I kind of want to get rid of that rankle. Because if I kite sell freebooter, they're just going to make me sack. Yeah, I think we just choose even. Hey, Jules. What's going on, girl? You're watching Mebo Cube. They put show and tell in their deck. I mentioned your SNT experience first game they play. Turn three S and T M are cool. Opponent puts in Dragon Lord Salem Guard. Amazing. Uh, it feels it always just feels so good. <laughs> That's if you play show if you put show and tell in your deck, you just gotta be okay with like knowing that this is how it's gonna go. Worn power stone, okay. I think we're gonna play a lot of what do you want, Jules? She wants my attention, is what she wants. Gatekeeper of Malak here. Oh, hello. I might actually just want the Scarab God. Hmm. There's a Gaunty and a Voidwalker. Yeah, I think uh, 
Our plan has changed. Our plan was going to be lawless. I'm glad you told me about that uh, show and tell experience. That makes me happy. That isn't like super. This doesn't like really do that much. They also tapped in such a way where now they can't, um, you know. I th think we want to just play this. No, that tapping was really not good, Molly. Especially because they didn't do anything else. Like, they didn't have something else that they were tapped that way so they could tap, have more colorless mana or whatever. Yeah, totes, Molly. I think we're going to be getting back a Gauntism, I guess. This is X life. They lose X life, and yeah, okay. So I have to do it yet. I will probably do gone. Oh wow. Okay, they realize they cannot beat the Scarab God. Cool, cool. Just go back in. They seem to be just like um, mono black. We gotta watch out for Massacre Worm. That's what we gotta watch out for. Did we have anything that we could revoke? Because this kind of just dies to Massacre Worm. Hmm. Okay. I th think we can keep this. It's slow. Let's just hope they don't have um, one drop is what I was going to say. <laughs> That's funny, Dabu. Hmm. Well, I can go glass pool mimic into swamp swamp, hopefully. Uh, so let's do that. And then hopefully get to go scavenger on three. We also have some fall from favor if it comes to it. Fall from favor is such a bullshit card. I hate it. Chat, do you have any cool plans for the weekend? Any action? Think they might just be making a servo? Yeah, they are. Oh man, Cap, that's intense. Are you like thinking of moving out of the like just within your city or out of the city? That was a good draw. So they're gonna make a servo. Then they can make a thopter for one, and then they can make a f construct if they have a thopter. Okay. You're heading up to Brett for the weekend. Oh, so nice, Blue Fuzzy. <gasps> Unfortunate. Your DMD group, which only meets every two to three weeks, is getting together for second week in a row. That's so cool, Johnny. I love it. Um, no, it's not just you, Dabu. I think uh, any card that has um, the um, monarch on it should be only legal in multiplayer we've talked about that we were talking about that on stream like just on wednesday gab recently f drafted fall from favor over five fairy in the zori's control saying he is taking the better card he's not wrong <laughs> cute that sounds good ice cream all right let's just play this so our hand's not looking amazing. But I think Nighthawk Scavenger can help us buy some time. Them taking my fall from favor was obnoxious. Hi, Julita. All right, so yeah, now they have a Thopter. And now they technically could, for free, Get a 4-4 four, four construct. Stunlock! Thank you for the 64. I appreciate that. It was cool seeing you in uh, Lord Topperware's stream earlier today. Oh, they've got their Nighthawk Scavenger too. We're probably going to be trading those at some point. I would like to draw something here. Nope. 
I'm just gonna chill. Hi, Janus. Welcome. So this is whenever a creature you control dies, put a loyalty counter on Lolith Spider Queen. Then zero is draw a card, lose a life, and then minus three is make two two ones. Yeah, I should have specified that I wanted some action. Oh, interesting. They chose not to um, upgrade their Thopter. Hmm. That is interesting. I'm gonna take the hit. Cause I'm most likely playing well this next turn. Ooh, that's not bad. Oh, that's cool, ice cream. That is awesome. All right, let's just draw. Voidwalker, and then we've got a Frost Titan. We can chill here. Trade with whatever's attacking my Lawless. And then we also get a loyalty counter on there as well. Oh, they're coming at me. Yeah, we can do this, I think, just because we're about to Frost Titan. And uh, we get a loyalty counter on Lolith, which is pretty nice. Fiend Artisan, okay. Conan is a little choked on mana. They chose not to activate either. Interesting. Um, I do think we want to do make some spooters. Menace and reach. Oh, look at these spiders! <laughs> they're they're so big. They're encasing an entire horse. That's that's cool stuff. I think just the Nighthawk Scavenger is probably what we want to keep tapped. All right, don't hit our spot. 4-4 four, four after beating Brad. Yes, Luis. Okay, you can rally. Look, you're on the comeback road. Nice, nice. Well, LFG, you can rally. All right, they're equipping the Fiend Artisan. They don't even have attacks, though. Worn Power Stone, short. Cute, thank you so much, Auntie. I appreciate that. Let's draw a card, see what we get. Um, do you think I wanna kick it off with Inquisitioning them? See what's going on there. Oh, we got a good one. So they are stuck on mana. They have Gary, Massacre Worm, and Phyrexian Obliterator. My god, they have a lot of really good stuff. So we're definitely, definitely going to want to have Supreme Will up. Um, we have to... Massacre Worm is going to clown us. So... We need to keep their worn power stone tapped, I think. Idreza. So it's like it's like a double stone rain kind of. Let's make sure we don't die to the stupid massacre worm. All right, now we've got, we can't play Porcelain Legionnaire plus Supreme Will, but we've got some stuff lined up. We've got some creatures with reach that can put loyalty on Lolith, and we've got some Supreme Will to counter, like if they play right now a Phyrexian Obliterator. I think we're going to want to counter that. Julie, what are you eating? 
I hear you chewing something. I think we can take the hit from Fiend Artisan and we could double block this and then my Lolith will go up and I can make two more spiders. That doesn't seem too bad, right? Hey Dreza, how you doing? I like that emote. I love that emote actually. Yeah, look at that. That worked out okay. We we did take five, uh, but then Lolith is... Yeah, so we want to counter that. So they have Gary and Massacre Worm left. Choose an exiled card an opponent owns with a void counter on it. So what, what do we have with a void counter on it? Non-creature, non-land. So we know they have Massacre Worm and Gary, so that doesn't actually work. It's opponent's exile, right? Is this their exile? Ooh, Phyrexian Obliterator and Nighthawk Scavenger, I think is what is. I think those are the things available to us because they got Dothied. And then this is Sacrifice Voidwalker, choose an exiled card an opponent owns with a void counter on it. You may play this card without paying its mana cost. So we are going to want, I think, the Phyrexian Obliterator. So let's go ahead. This is the sack. Okay. So. I think instead of making spiders. Like, because now I think we just want to keep the fiend artisan tapped. And we'll let them cast the massacre worm if they want. Because we're, we're, we're kind of like selling out of our small creatures. Yeah, and so now we go Phyrexian Obliterator and say, okay, and then cast that without paying mana costs. And then we can also draw a card. Compulsive is good. Target us. One, two, three. We can discard the land. So can we flashback anything good? We've got uh, Snappy Supreme Will. Oh, that's lovely. Whoa, amazing. Hey, Doko. Welcome, Doko. How are you? We are playing some Legacy Cube. And in fact, I think we might be very close to getting a little trofeo over here. Because my opponent's about to go Massacre Worm. We can go like Snappy Flashback um, Supreme Will. And then I think they're dead. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -da. Yeah, Frost Titan's been giving them the business. Supreme Will. Hey, B, Welcome! It's good to see you, B. I I feel like I haven't seen you in so long. Look at that. Pew, 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 pew. Got ourselves a little trophy. No big deal. I think that's the second time we've trophied with uh, Blue Black Shitbirds. Also, we totally force this draft, so it feels good when we get it rewarded. It's the same deck you drafted once. Yes, that was the last match. Uh, skeep, skeep. It's pretty good. Let me wrap it up, actually. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed another blue black shitbirds and Legacy Cube. Um, I think it's up. I think the Legacy Cube, well, by the time this comes out on YouTube, it's not going to be up anymore. But I was going to say, I think it's up till Wednesday. So if you want to give it a shot, um, pretty fun cube to play. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, I super appreciate it if you did. It lets you know when other videos come out. And it's totally free way for you to support the stream. Thanks for watching, YouTube. See ya. If you like this video, you can subscribe for more. And if you want to come say hi to us on the live stream, that's on twitch.tv slash I stream every weekday in the afternoons, mountain times. See you later.